Hello, my name is Graham Lewis, and in this short video, we're going to discuss how to generate a different formula than n choose r for the Pascal triangle's numbers. Now, if you remember from the previous video on Pascal's triangle and developing n choose r, that we managed to develop a formula for n choose r, n factorial over r factorial n minus r factorial. Now, I'm interested in developing another formula which will help me expand things when n is not a non-negative integer like 1 plus x to the power minus 1 or 1 plus x to the power half. Those look exciting as infinite um, expansions. And also to help prove differentiating x to the power n from first principles. So let's have a look. And it's always easy to start off with a number example. So I'm going to choose 5 choose 3. So if we consider 5 choose 3, we know that that's 5 factorial over 3 factorial, 5 minus 3 factorial using the n choose r formula. Now we can rewrite that as 5 factorial we know is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. I'm just going to put a bracket around those for now. Divided by, I'm going to leave the 3 factorial. And I'm going to write the 5 minus 3 factorial as 2 factorial 2 times 1. And I'll put a bracket around that. You can see that I've rewritten that in such a way that I want to actually cancel the 2 times 1. And leave it as 5 times 4 times 3 over 3 factorial. Notice that 5 choose 3 has 3 factorial on the denominator. And 5 times 4 times 3, 3 numbers on the numerator. So three numbers on the numerator, three factorial on the denominator. Now let's choose another one. Let's do six choose four. So before we start, I hope you're thinking, how many numbers on the numerator and what's on the denominator? Maybe that because we've got six choose four, there'll be four numbers on the numerator and four factorial on the denominator. Let's see if that theory that is sort of right. So from my formula, if I choose r, 6 factorial over 4 factorial, 6 minus 4 factorial, which is 2 factorial again. Let's rewrite this out. 6 times 5 times 4 times 3. I'll put a bracket around that. Times 2 times 1 over 4 factorial. I'm going to leave that. 6 minus 4 is 2. 2 factorial is 2 times 1. And again, they cancel, leave me with... 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 over 4 factorial. Notice that 6 choose 4 is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3, 4 numbers over 4 factorial. So now let's try and develop a different formula for n choose r. Before I do this, I just want to point something out. I'll just grab a different color here because this is the tricky bit. There's one slightly tricky bit to this. This number and this number. This number and this number. And I just want to talk about those before we generate the formula for you. So if you think about it, I've got r factorial is 3. So here um, I've got 3 factorial, 5 minus 3 factorial is 2 factorial. So notice there were two numbers there at the end. So now when I'm developing n choose r, I've got n factorial over r factorial n minus r factorial. So what I want to do is essentially write this as n, n minus 1, n minus 2. Keep going to a certain point. And I'm just going to put a big bracket there and stop. And I actually want my n minus r factorials to cancel over r factorial and n minus r factorial. And I want these two to cancel, which is what happened in all of the examples above. So this number here is n minus r factorial. This was, in one of the examples, 5 minus 3, which is 2 factorial. So I had two numbers there. So in other words, I want how many numbers in here and that's a question to think about so hopefully you've been thinking about that a little bit and clearly if we've got n minus r factorial here and the whole numerator is n factorial then of course I need r numbers in here now the first number of n minus r factorial 
if I was to write n minus r factorial out fully, it would be n minus r, and the next one would be n minus r minus 1, and so on. So what's the number to the left of that? Because that would be the last number here. And of course, it must be n minus r plus 1. And that's the tricky thing. So this number that I have to put in here is going to be, I'll just erase that, is going to be n minus r plus 1. It's giving me the r numbers in there. And then I've generated a new formula for n choose r. And the new formula for n choose r is actually known as nr, which is n times n minus 1. Keep going till you've got r numbers on top. n minus r plus 1 would be your last number over r factorial. So now if you think about this formula, it's actually a lot more powerful than n choose r. Because if you compare this with the n choose r formula, if I just write that down quickly, the n choose r formula requires that n and r are both non-negative integers. Because we are using the factorial notation. So the smallest number we can do factorial of is 0 factorial, which is defined to be 1. And then we can do 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial. So it have to be non-negative integers. In other words, positive integers and 0. Whereas if you look at the nr notation, it's much more powerful. Because what numbers can you put in for n? You don't have to now put in non-negative integers for n. You can actually put in fractions and negative numbers. So this formula here is more powerful because it doesn't use now the factorial notation. And you could put n is a half. So you can expand things like 1 plus x to the power of half under certain conditions, which we can maybe explore in another video. And also 1 plus x to the minus 1. Whereas you cannot do use n choose r for that, but you can use the nr for that. Also, we can use the nr notation to help us prove for non-negative integers the differentiation rule. Thank you for watching this short video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, you might want to watch my next video, which is differentiating x to the n from first principles, where I'll make use of this nr uh, formula. Thank you very much.